and close your eyes and see where you feel the breath. The breath is like food for the mind, because the mind's always going around looking to th for things to feed on. You might as well give it something really good and healthy. And of course, if you're going to eat health food, you want to make it taste good, too. That's why we work with the breath and adjust it so it feels really good coming in, really good going out. Invigorating when you're tired, relaxing when you're tense. Try to find the breath that tastes just right, right now. And you may have to make adjustments. It's like fixing food. You put a little salt in, you taste it, that's not quite enough, you put a little bit more. And then if you find you put too much salt in, then you have to counteract with something else. Fortunately, with the breath, you don't have traces of excess in each breath. In other words, if the last breath was too long, you can just start with a short breath this time. Become a connoisseur of your breathing. That way there's a sense that you really like taking this as your food, and the thoughts of running out after other things for food right now don't seem quite so attractive when the breath tastes really good. So learn a sense of, <coughs> learn a sense of just right. Breath coming in, breath going out. It feels really good being right here. Because otherwise the mind goes out and likes to feed on junk food, sight, sound, smells, taste, tactile sensations, and all your intentions that have to do with those things. Of course, if you feed the mind on junk food, it develops all kinds of diseases. It brings on more greed, more aversion, more delusion, all of which are signs of weakness or a disease that weakens the goodness of the mind. So to strengthen the mind, you have to give it good food and make sure you stay with the good food until it becomes your favorite kind of food. Until the mind gets strong enough and doesn't even need to feed anymore. That's quite a ways down the line, though. So in the meantime, learn how to find good ways of feeding on the breath, good ways of feeding in the present moment that don't involve anything that's going to provoke your greed, aversion, and delusion. This is a really important part in the care and feeding of the mind. 